Hi, James Santiago here, and I got another fun rig with the uh, Giggity, and I pulled out the Marshalls this time. We're going to take the Marshall and give it a little bit of the uh, sort of Fender Dumbly kind of thing. So I've got a setup that should give me a few different results. Uh, I've got fuzz face, I've got two old MXR units, which would be appropriate if you were doing the sort of 80s, early 90s era Eric stuff. Uh, and then Giggity again is going to give us a tone shaping thing for that sound. So we're going to start with the amp by itself, and it just has a little uh, stereo reverb done in Pro Tools, or which would have done been done at the board if it was recording or live at the console. So here's the amp by itself. <laughs> Now, with Giggity, we're going to turn that in and shape it, give it a little bit more of the sparkle and a little grid and compression sound. Uh, another thing that's really helpful with this stuff is things like this blue flanger you know they actually come alive a little bit more when you crunch them up a little bit after which is the same theory you would see if you were watching like Van Halen with the phase 90 you know the Marshall was doing all the gain and it just gives things a little more of a blooming sound so I'm gonna pull up the rest of the rig here and you'll see how giggity actually sort of gives us that right vibe as sort of part of the amp backline so here let's add in the time delay. So now what we have again, time delay, and then going into giggity as part of the amp lines. And this is the same thing you would have heard uh, uh, at the top of Soulful Terrain, things like that. It's got that repeat hold function, which is just like a little switch on the floor. I just do it. I play it better. There you go. Like that. Yeah. Also used it for a lot of the sort of hold stuff. That would have been the unit for that stuff. So again, cool unit, fun with the repeat hold. And then adding in the flange. So again, it's getting a little crunch from Giggity. You can hear without it. You know. and then we're kind of there. So if we take out the, the uh, flanger, you're kind of left with what's pretty much the Desert Rose signal pad. So let me turn that off. You know, you can hear yeah, if we turn off Giggity, you'll hear it's not really the same sound. Actually, a little too refined, too smooth. So let's put it back in, and you can.
should have practiced that first, but what the heck. We're sort of just going after the tones, but uh, one last thing I want to leave you with is buffers. So let me just show you what a buffer sounds like in front of the fuzz. Not a good deal. Uh, some people like that sound, but you, you tend to lose all of the clarity and the uh, dynamics. So I'll just let me play you the, the fuzz. I've got a I've got a box right here just so you can hear. Yeah. Uh, again, the delay's not on. It's just in bypass mode in the loop. So I just pulled it in and out of being in front of the fuzz. So not a good time, really. So again, just having fun with this stuff. So hopefully you got a a new setting for your giggity to play with. So again, Marshall turned into sort of the Fendery Dumble thing and then recreating the Highland Runs Desert Rose kind of sound. Thanks for hanging out.